political genius Ben Shapiro has some brilliant insights into how the left thinks, because who would know better how the left thinks than Ben Shapiro? Um, and he's going to tell us who our 2020 frontrunner is. This ought to be good. The funniest thing about all of this is, you know, who's, you know who's actually winning the battle among Democrats for 2020 based on the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing? Michael Avenatti. I'm telling you, he's my sleeper, man. He is my dark horse. Michael Avenatti, the porn lawyer for Stormy Daniels. That guy is now my 2020 frontrunner for the Democrats. I am not kidding. You think I'm kidding because it's ridiculous. But guess what? Everything's ridiculous, man. Where have you been for the last four years? Come on. Michael Avenatti is a better lawyer than either Cory Booker or Kamala Harris. Cory Booker, by the way, asked something like 56 questions, 60 questions during the course of the hearing. He didn't ask, he didn't mention a case, not one. Zero cases mentioned in the course of all of his questions because these people are not interested in actual answers. Avenatti started tweeting out stuff about all of this and he was just trolling Kamala Harris and Cory Booker and it was just delicious. So Avenatti starts tweeting out about how Cory Booker and Kamala Harris don't know what in the world they're actually talking about. He tweeted this out two hours ago. When I first started trying cases, my mentor taught me two basic things. One, never overpromise and suggest to the jury that you have evidence when you don't, i.e. get over the tips of your skis. And two, never get caught trying to deceive the jury. Words to live by in life as well. Hey, that is such a subtweet of both Kamala Harris and Cory Booker. It's delicious. It's delicious. So watch as porn lawyer Michael Avenatti runs circles around the sitting senators from New Jersey and California. It, I, I got to tell you, if it's Avenatti versus Trump in 2020, I cannot wait, man. I mean, the, the entertainment value of that race will be so unbelievably high. <laughs> yes, the entertainment value of the people who are going to run the country and the world. And <laughs> sure, everybody's life will be miserable and everybody's fucked and um, we're, we're done. But uh, it, 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 at least it would be entertaining. <laughs> He's my sleeper, man. He's my sleeper. <laughs> He's giddy about an anti-Trump grifter who's a nobody who has forced his way into the public eye and who's nothing but a charlatan and a fraud and a con artist. God damn it, how little does he know about the left? <laughs> There's not a single poll out there that will tell you that, uh, you know, Avenatti is the front runner or, you know, uh, has even the potential to get to that point. And sure, Ben would respond to this by saying, oh yeah, well, what about the polls in the 2016 election? And uh, it seemed to defy the polls in that election. Mm, not really, because Hillary Clinton was up, what, two points on election day? Maybe three points? And then she ended up winning the electoral, uh, or, excuse me, she ended up winning the popular vote by three million votes or so. So that's actually kind of within the range of what the polls were showing. It was just that the way the support for Trump was dispersed throughout the country was enough for him to pick off the Rust Belt and then win the presidency through the Electoral College. So the polls weren't even that off. You had some pollsters' predictions were off, but the actual polls themselves were really not that off. So, but this idea of like, oh yeah, the left is gonna love this guy. I, okay, I run in left-wing circles, clearly. Not a single person I know! Not a single one! has ever mentioned that guy without scoffing. Michael Avenatti, are you fucking kidding? He's nothing but a media creation. You know, for a guy who hates like the DC elites, he sure does tend to agree with them and repeat a lot of their shitty talking points. Are, can you imagine me, Jimmy Dore, Humanist Report, David Pakman sitting around talking about this like, so who do you guys think is the 2020 front runner? You know, I think Avenatti's going to give it a run. Do you have any idea how quickly that person would be ex excommunicated from left-wing circles? I would be like, ha, 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 this motherfucker's crazy. Let's not hang out with them anymore, right? Yeah, don't hang out with them anymore. Avenatti! God damn it, Ben. But that's the thing about Ben Shapiro, man. Because he says things confidently and, and quickly, people are like, oh, he must be making sense because he seems very sure of himself. No, that was the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life, ever, ever. He said, yeah, it's just verbal diarrhea. <laughs> Michael Avenatti! I sure do know the left well. Oh, you just make stuff up. You know, verbal diarrhea. At no point was that connected to reality. At no point. Every poll shows either Bernie Sanders being the frontrunner, and there are a handful that show Biden as being the frontrunner. 
But when you go down the list, you know who's at the very bottom? Michael Avenatti. And also every business leader who the mainstream media is trying to force on us. Howard Schultz! Sure, he hates the left. But he's probably going to be the Democratic nominee. Mark Cuban! Mark Cuban! Nobody wants that! Nobody wants that! Nobody wants that! They're dead last in every single poll because they suck. So the guy who claims to know politics really well just decided, oh, this guy's probably the front runner for the Democrats when Michael, I haven't heard Michael Avenatti say a goddamn thing about policy at all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're right-wing intellectual. There you go.